Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're stopping in. Got a thrift haul today. Uh, most items you're going to be seeing on the table today came from Salvation Army. Hope you enjoy. showing a lot of Bartlett Collins lately and most of it has been frosted and hand painted and I tell you that you can really identify Bartlett Collins easily once you get to know it. This piece is also Bartlett Collins and you can see it has a nice frosted etching. They did a lot of that also. Um, actually Bartlett Collins made a lot of different things. This pretty little piece dates to 1947. It's a sugar bowl. And the pattern is called Decoration 806 in the red band line. I think I will ask probably eight to ten dollars for it. I paid fifty cents. This is a 1980s bread and butter plate uh, made by the Royal Art Pottery Company out of Staffordshire, England. I thought it was a little older than 1980, but that's what my research tells me. It's called Pink Onion. They also made a blue onion. And the onion pattern itself dates way back to the Ming Dynasty, and it was originally just called bulb. But in the 1740s, the Meissen factory changed its design to a more floral pattern, as you see here. And I paid, hmm, it was half price, so I paid 50 cents for it, and it'll sell for about $5. Somebody will add it to their collection. I paid 50 cents for this pretty little picture. It was made by the Plank and Hammer a Company. They were in production between 1908 and 1978. And the logo you saw before, I'll show it to you one more time. This logo here dates it um, from the 1920s all the way to 1978. So I don't have a real set um, year for when it was produced. You can see on this side also, has a cute little flower. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to ask about $6 for it. As you saw by the label, these two pieces are not vintage, but they're beautiful. They're hand painted and I paid $3 for both of them. They were half price. And actually I, bought this piece. I was interested in this piece because I'm going to use it in my new bathroom and I think I will sell the tissue cover. And as I said before, I had the label with all the information I could want on it. It said Selena. I couldn't find anything on these. Although I must say when I first started researching them, I actually thought when I picked them up they were glass and I was handling them with care. At some point uh, during my research I realized hmm, these aren't glass I don't think. I gave it a good tap and sure enough, I was right. They're not glass at all. They're actually resin and resin is kind of a plastic. It's made in a mold and it's kind of a classy plastic, I would say. Um, they're beautiful pieces though. This one I will keep. This one I will sell for about $25. Two pretty little plates I picked up for a total of 75 cents for both of them. The logo is MZ Austria and the MZ stands for, and bear with me please, Moritz de Zakauer. And this big date to, uh, let's see, that logo dates it to about 1909. The company was incorporated in 1888. And as you saw before, one did not have a logo, just said hand painted, but looking at the design and looking at the rims you can see the rims here are the same i think they were both produced by that company and the reason actually that i bought them is because this one is hand signed by emma and that's my daughter's name and i did look them up in a sell for about 15 dollars with free shipping
Paid three dollars for this Corning Weir in the Sensations pattern. It's a Dutch oven. It was produced between 1996 and 1997. And I know um, in one of my previous videos, I've shown you a smaller Dutch oven. Ah! And I said it was missing the wrong Dutch oven lid. I'm happy to announce that this one does have the right Dutch oven lid. It's extremely heavy. I think I'm gonna keep it for myself. But if I were to sell it, they go for about $25, $35. Although my daughter did look online and tell me, whoa, mom, they're going for about 60. So I'm gonna have to find out where she's doing her research. Anchor Hawking Fire King in the copper tint pattern. As I said previously, copper tint is the bakeware that was made to complement the peach luster wear. They're produced between 1958 and 1971, and each and every one of them is in perfect unused condition. I think if I sell them alone, I'm gonna ask about $10. I might just throw them in with that. If you remember, I just found a copper tint um, pie plate and a cake plate, so we'll see. I paid 25 cents for this um, outlet cover. I love it. I'm going to use it in my new house. And I have a little helper here right now during the middle of filming this video. Our good friend Dave stopped by, so we put him to work. Paid 50 cents for these ornaments, and I couldn't be happier. They are Dillers, they're made for Dillers and they're handcrafted cloisonne ornaments. I love cloisonne and I love hummingbirds. And you'll see in a minute just how gorgeous these are. Put them both out and show them to you one at a time. They're beautiful, perfect condition, and they actually move around. So I am going to put them away. I guess they look really pretty on the tree, but I'm kind of thinking about hanging them up just in the house somewhere. Aren't they beautiful? For those of you who aren't familiar with cloisonne, and I'm sure most people are, uh, the definition of cloisonne, it's a decorative work in which enamel, glass, and sometimes gemstones are separated by strips of flattened wire, and then they're placed edgewise on, uh, on a metal backing, and that's cloisonne. People who watch my videos know I never pass up a advertising or pretty piece of milk glass mugs. And I have three right here. I paid 50 cents each for them. This one here is Anchor Hawking, probably dates to the late 70s or early 80s. And I'll probably stick it in the box with all my other ones for right now, but probably sell this for anywhere between eight and $15, depending on who's looking for it. This one here is an old federal one, not that old, probably the 60s, possibly into the mid 70s. It's Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. It's in great shape. People like to collect them. So I'm sure somebody from Valley Forge, Pennsylvania or somebody who visited Valley Forge might be interested in purchasing that for about $8. And this here is the best one. It's Minnie Mouse and they sell for about 10 to $12, maybe 15. It's in really nice shape. This is also federal. 1970s. I saw these one day in the Salvation Army and I thought they looked pretty cool. I didn't know much about them. I kind of passed on them. I thought they were a little expensive. I went back and they were half price and I had done a little bit of research on them and I snagged them up. I got all of these pieces for $4. They are designed by Joan Luntz, whose husband owned the International Molding Company out of Ohio. And they were 1940s and 50s modern pieces. They're called modern modern design. And if you notice on one of the cups, it said Arrowhead. Arrowhead was, was a lesser quality. They look exactly the same to me, but they were made to mix and match. They're melamine. 
And she was a pretty famous designer back in the day. There weren't many women designers back in the 40s and 50s doing this kind of stuff. They came in lots and lots of different colors and people are collecting them now. Um, I think I'm gonna sell this lot for about 15 to $20. I'm always on the lookout for nice English bone china, or not even English, but good bone china cups and saucer sets um, that I can buy for under $2. I paid 75 cents for each piece here. I thought they were a set. I did look over at the logo on the beautiful saucer here and saw that it was Royal Albert, got excited, looked around for the matching cup. I really thought this was it. I. I didn't even look at the bottom, I should have, because it is not, but they seem to go together. And a lot of people don't mind mixing and matching. I usually wait till I get about six of them, and then I try to sell them off as a lot for about 40 to $60, depending on what I have. And as I said, this is Bone China, and if you remember in one of my previous videos, I told you what Bone China was. It is actually made out of bones, and it's translucent, and I don't know if you can see my finger running through here. I think this is a better shot here in the light. I'm going to run my finger behind it. You can see my finger through the plate. That's how you can tell it's bone china. You should be able to see through it in the light. I picked this up for $1.50. I love everything in boxes. I happen to especially love Princess House. And Dave here is going to open the box and show us what's inside. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Don't break the box. Slow, Dave. Hmm. Okay. Never been used. Tag still on. What it is is a Christmas canister holder, and it is called sledding. Perfect condition. Show you every bit of it. I already have it listed. I'm asking twenty-five dollars for it. Thanks, Dave. So like I said in a previous video, my thrifting New Year's resolution is to stop buying casseroles without covers and to concentrate on buying the covers to fit the casseroles I already have. And I did right here, I paid a dollar a piece for them. And they'll fit my Corningware just fine. Just fine. And I also picked this up for 50 cents. I think I've seen these before in one of my videos. They are a twist lock holder. Let me see if I can get this on. For corning wear. It's made by corning. Okay. You pick it up. It's hot. You don't have to worry. Put it on the table or your trivet and take it right off. They sell for about three or four dollars, but I like to hang on to them. As I always say, if I find cool mugs, I buy them. This one is super heavy. And it's a military mug, and I do like military items. I did not know what that stood for. It obviously says the 88th Flying Squadron. It's actually the U.S. Air Force Training Squadron, and it was made in Westford, Massachusetts, Mill Art Company, or actually it was imported, I should say, for the Mill Art Company. Super heavy, as I said. Military items sell really well. I've only seen patches of these. I haven't seen any mugs. The patches sell for about $5. I think I'm gonna ask about 20 for the mug. So these beautiful I Rice figurines, that's the I and I Rice stands for Irving. They're all in really good condition. I did notice there was a chip on the bottom of one. There it is. It doesn't really affect it too much. Two are the same, one's a little different. And a little information on the I Rice Company. Irving Rice founded his company in 1905 in New York City. He was an importer back then, mostly of perfume bottles and other bathroom vanity items and, um, and crystal. 
Back in the 30s or into the 30s, he started specializing in Czechoslovakian crystal during World War II, mainly only actually American manufacturers. And after World War II, lots of German and Japan, Korea, and now Taiwan. They're still going strong since 1905. And for the set of three, I was thinking I asked about $15. I think I'm gonna try and sell them off as a lot. I hope you enjoyed my latest haul. I know it's kind of a long one. I had a lot of stuff to show you this time around. I'm going to be busy listing on eBay tomorrow. Please visit my eBay store. If you see anything you like, let me know and I will give you a good discount. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most important to me, leave a comment. See you again real soon. Don't forget to like, share. Did you say like? Like? And rev uh, Revin. It's a little bread and butter plate made by the raw boy, boy oh boy. The what? 25 cent the cover for the switch plate. <laughs> it's worth $5. <laughs>